Today's power pole tip of the week is about what do you do when the water's too deep to touch the bottom? Well, I'm gonna tell you some of the things that I look for is how am I going to stop my boat? Now, as you know, some guys use their trolling motor and they lock the boat in position. What I found in tarpon fishing is if the trolling motor's running, most likely I'm not gonna be able to get close to the fish that I wanna catch because of the movement of the boat, not necessarily the noise. But by using my power poles and looking for something that may be overhanging or submerged, because of the unique designs and the way the poles go out to the side, I use the spike and hook it on something that's submerged. Maybe it's an undercut bank in a creek. For you guys that are bass fishing, you can stick the spike in a bush, and guess what? It will hold you in place. 20 feet of water is not a problem when you have stuff that is coming up to the surface. So keep that in mind. It's a pretty cool secret that I have, and that's today's Power Pole Tip of the Week. So Bree, you get that, that you can yeah. have submerged uh, trees and whatnot, mm -hmm. and all you gotta there. do is drop your power poles down there to it. If it can reach it, now it can, you can use that as an anchor. Yeah. So whether you're bass fishing or you're fishing, you know, the oyster beds in Galveston Bay, mm -hmm. a lot of it'll still work. Yep, hug a tree. Hug right? a tree, hug something. <laughs>